Gamer 7 and welcome back to some more Sims for the Eevee family. As you can see, Eevee is right in front of us. So we're back at this household, which is so tiny right now. But uh, Flareon's actually at work, which I think she's about to get home though. I'm pretty sure she's about to get home. Why is everything... Now you may notice that this household has a little bit more money. Um, One, I do... I actually didn't do it for this household yet I do have a thing where technically the game doesn't really like it doesn't give your sims households money when you're not playing at them so even though time is going on and stuff like that and they would technically be going to work they're not getting paid basically so to make a semi more realistic I do I have started giving them like a little bit of money before I start the episode but I did actually completely forget this time hello um completely forget this time around but it's fine <laughs> what I actually did is I went through their inventories the household inventory and stuff like that there was a lot of things in there that they really didn't need and all the stuff except for some of it was Flareon and Eevee so I just sold it unless I wanted to keep it for a certain reason I did sell some of Jolteons but I've already deducted that from this household and I'm gonna give it to Jolteon's household that it was his stuff and stuff like that but yeah that's why they have more money I sold a bunch of stuff that they had that they didn't really need and some of it's also in Flareon's restaurant but not a whole lot of it like not a whole lot so I but I transferred a little bit more over there and then transfer I, I, I meant transferred this way because she had a lot in there and she didn't really need that at the time though it's going down pretty fast because I was playing off camera just a little bit just to work on it but um interesting enough I was actually planning on focusing a little bit more on with Flareon in this episode but I think because Flareon's at work even though I think she's about to come back from work it seems like Dreon actually wants to take Evie to the romance festival which is interesting so I think we'll go I think this is definitely an interesting turn of events with these two but they seem to be hitting it off really really well and I don't think either one of them's necessarily like forcibly trying to hide it from friends and family but I don't think they're really letting on about it either that they're sort of I guess they're sort of talking they're not dating or anything but meh <laughs> okay so we're here which I forgot because like when they ask you out to do stuff it actually wants you to do something and it wants them to actually um kiss someone so may maybe we'll let that we'll see how things go but our at the romance but i don't know why there's like floating um chrysanthemum <laughs> i think there may be a glitch in the game <laughs> going on also this one plant is slightly <laughs> floating <laughs> i don't know what's going on um i i have a feeling that those are not supposed to be there. Is that something going on in the game? <laughs> Does anyone else have that issue? My game only? That's the first time I've actually seen that, so I don't know <laughs> in my game as well. And people are just randomly dancing right now. Like, that's just... But we're here. So we're here at the Romance Festival with uh, Dreon. It looks like the gamers united. They hang out at this area, so... And sometimes, oh, she's a vampire now. She's like burning up. Oh, there's my sim. My sim. My sim's the leader of that club. They come and hang out. There's like a basement area <laughs> that they come hang out in. <laughs> so that's that's what they're doing. But it looks like my sim's also going to like do some art related things. So I don't see, I was going to see if any other friends or family was here. But no one they know is here right now. Where is, okay, where are they? Oh, Flareon just got home. $2,000. Whoa. <laughs> Maybe that's also why they have so much money. I didn't really pay attention. Oh, hey, Day's here. How are you doing? Uh, didn't really pay attention to whether how much money they were both bringing home. The few because I was playing like I said off screen camera like one or two days. Uh, let's just have him come over to where we're at. So, come over here. So, like I said, these two had started the click. They clicked on their own, and without my doing. But uh, then I started just sort of semi pushing it to see where it go like i didn't like queue up any interactions if you've watched the last parts i didn't queue up any necessarily um romantic actions until it seemed like they were getting closer so a lot of it is headed this direction on their own but um right now we're just awkward we we can have a first kiss apparently so that is something we can do 
Um, give medical advice. Uh. Oh, it's it was also pirate day, so like I have <laughs> no idea what some of these are. Like I can figure them out, but at the same time, I'm like, if it's like been a long day, especially if I've worked like today. <laughs> But yeah, so we're, we're... Uh, Gorba. I still don't understand what's going on with these, like, dirt pals. That's, like, what I'm... But, um... Uh, I do really want to bring Flareon here just because I want... Like, one, I really want, wanted to, like, do some stuff with her. I actually wanted her to come to the city. That was, like, one of my plans. Uh, but... <laughs> uh, oh, he's angry for some reason. Oh, now he's yelling at us. Oh, what have we done? Oh, well, no, no. This may not be going the way I thought. <laughs> but, um, why is he mad? I mean, why is anyone in the Forgotten Family ever mad? They have issues. <laughs> um, discuss world peace. He's angry and she's like, I just want everyone to be happy. <laughs> okay, let's, you know, let's actually try to calm him down, maybe? before we do anything, and if she can't calm- if Evie can't calm him down, then I don't know if that means things are gonna actually ever, um, work out, I'm just saying. <laughs> um, so we'll get- we'll- uh, I guess I could go ahead and let him- oh, so Just get mad all of a sudden. I don't know why he just got mad. Oh, okay, oh, alright, those two apparently, you know. They, those two, who- I know that one's Alice, I don't know who that guy is. They get along really well. Um, oh, now she's angry. Now he's happy! They, like, switched moods! Wait, is that- is that what, like, the- the disgust- angry mood thing? That, that's not what that does. Well, now she's angry, though. <laughs> like, he's happy now, now she's angry. What the heck? What the heck, Gabe? Um, <clears throat> make funny faces, and then I guess we should go have some soccer tea because that's like part of the thing about this festival. Uh, for, uh there was a long time ago, episode, a really long time ago. The Evie family was very, 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 very young at that point, but they all came. Well, not all of them, but like the main household. So it was like Evie, Flareon, Jolteon, Vaporeon, Espeon, and Umbreon all came to the Romance Festival and got their um, romantic destinies told. <laughs> most of them did not get it. I think most of them had the same thing and it was bleak at the time. <laughs> um, but Flareon's was slightly different. That's part of the reason why it's sort of over here, but at the same time, I don't think Evie would invite her over there right now. Which they, their green bar did go down from him yelling at her. Trying to figure out what's going on with this lady's hat. Like what? What is that? Like, what? And, like what? What? Like what's going on here? What? What? What's? <laughs> this is an interesting hat. Also, you're very pale. Wait! Wait! Hasn't she been showing up in some of my episodes lately? Lisa, re <laughs> recently, she's like super pale. But anyway, they're over there drinking sake tea with this child. Whoever this child is. I don't know who this child is. I think she just got flirty. But, oh, anyway. I should, I should get out of town. <laughs> yeah, so now she's flirty. She's still got a little bit of that angriness. And also, embarrassment? Oh, apparently someone criticized her outfit. Was it, was it Dreon? Like, what? <laughs> oh, that is a new outfit I actually gave her. <laughs> Oddly enough. <laughs> Joke about getting together. Um, so, I guess we'll try. I'm not, I don't want to do, like, romance. I still don't try to push that one too often, but, um, just let them at least talk. At least he's still happy. He's still happy. He doesn't seem to be mad anymore. So that's good. That, that's, that's a good sign. Do we know all his, of his stuff? We do know all of his stuff. I still don't under train! I still don't understand these, uh, floating, um, dirt piles of, um, things <laughs> of things <laughs> flowers also you know the train always comes at the greatest of times also hello God. who's this child anyway who are you oh he's one of the hearts so he's related he's in like ruby's line of kids somehow 
Okay, oh, are y'all just, I was about to say, are y'all just gonna keep staring at each other? Oh, yeah. I don't know if I want to try this kiss thing or not. Especially now that they sort of started off a little rocky on this uh, trip here. So I'm like, I don't really... Oh, is he flirting with her now? I think he's flirting with her now. I think he did that. Okay, that didn't put the romance bar up though. Oh no, it did. It did. It did. Okay, so he, he started flirting with her. So maybe things are good now. <laughs> maybe now that like things have come down. Ooh, that's pretty. Um. <laughs> Evie. Evie. <laughs> does she does she just sound flirty or is she like actually no she's I think she's just like talking and she's just well, she's flirty she sounds flirty. she's flirty he's not but he's the one who flirted with her. Probably gonna have to cut a little bit of that out because I realized my dad my which probably to most. People was like, why does that matter? But my grandfather, he's he's not been doing well um, for the past like year or so, but he's progressively slowly getting worse. He can't hear very well, and my dad calls them all the time, so my dad has to talk really loud, and I can hear it all the way down to here. So I'm pretty sure my mic is actually is like loud enough. My mic's going to pick it up because like I could hear it with my headphones on, and I was like, because I thought maybe something was going on. But so yeah, I'm probably gonna have to cut that out. But anyway, um. She's just been uh, talking with him. I don't know what they're doing, but oh, she is she flirting or is he flirting? I don't really know. Anyway, but I'm going to actually now. I I waited to click on this dude to actually oh, let's not have a flirt. Ask about romantic destiny. Let's. I I'm pretty sure I remember Evie's was bleak. So let's see if it. Oh, I don't have much time if I decide to do that. I have 30 minutes. Wait, 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 wait. Does the romance festival end in 30 minutes? Should I make them have a first kiss? I'm afraid, like, if I don't, if I don't do it now. <laughs> that face. <laughs> um. Should we? Should I do it? I was like, where is it going? Ah! I'm just, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, and then I'll let her ask. Yeah. Hopefully the festival itself doesn't end. Okay, he's walking away. The festival itself may be ending. Oh no, he's coming over. No. Don't, don't chat. I don't want you in my group. Oh, I still want you in my group conversation. I don't want a group conversation is what I'm trying to say. Okay, let's try that. Okay, no, this dude is gonna... I can't make him go away either. He's the, the romance guru. <laughs> okay, maybe... This dirt patch is making things very, very awkward. <laughs> No, he's sitting back down. Wait, what's going on? I have like very little time left. Seven minutes. And this dude is being. Oh, okay. Is she doing it? She is. She is. <laughs> and I think he didn't mind that one bit. <laughs> so, yay. Okay, I was a little nervous. I don't know these two. These, these two actually working out together is still pretty interesting. But that seemed to go well. Now can we ask for our romantic destiny, or is that over with? I think that's over with. Like I, I don't unless. Okay. Let's go here. Okay, there we go. Okay, I still want to ask, ask about the romantic destiny because I want to see if it's changed any. She sometimes looks like a skeleton from a distance. <laughs> I'm interested to see if it's changed. <laughs> see if it's still bleak or if the romance gurus always are like, nope, bleak ending for you. Like, give you no hope that your romantic destiny is going to be good. Okay. What does that mean? Okay. Your hat is still weird, lady. Did he did he tell us anything? Is it good? Bad? Mall spec. Horrible? Zombie. Great. Newfie. Amazing. Rocky. Ah. <laughs> Words. There's a celebrity. At least I think that's a celebrity. 
Oh, I think it's bleak. <laughs> this destiny is bleak. I feel like you tell that to everyone. Okay, so we're back here, and obviously Valeron is in her, uh, she needs it. <laughs> a tug like a pirate thing still throws me off. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna let her go use the bathroom. It's already really late at night, so I can't really do much. I was wanting to invite Kevin over, because if- oh wait, wait, <laughs> hold up. I don't know if I've mentioned this, I think I did. This original- this episode, I think, is episode 80. It was originally supposed to be 81, and it's because I completely lost 78, the actual 78's, um, footage completely. I don't know if I didn't ever hit record and I thought it was, or if I thought I edited it, so I deleted it to save some space. I don't know what happened. It- it's gone. I can't find it in anything, like, any of my backup files or anything. So it was just gone, but it was- and I really hated that it happened, but it was, um- at Umbreon's, and they had, uh, 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 what is it? Harvest Fest. They had a Harvest Fest at their house, which I found it found it ironic that the vampires got to host Harvest Fest this year in the EV family. But, um, they had Harvest Fest, and <laughs> there was two couples in particular. I invited them and their significant others, and they did not talk to each other whatsoever. I think I seen Flareon get, like, talk to Kevin once, but otherwise they didn't communicate any. They were both there and walking around, eating food, enjoying everyone else's company, but was not talking to each other. They were talking more than the other couple, which I'll get to later, but otherwise they wasn't talking very much and I, th I think they're like slowly like, they're like half and half, when I think they were more than that before. She doesn't even know he's straight. And doesn't really know his careers, but we know that Evie found out. <laughs> unless Evie has forgotten him. Evie found out that he is actually a criminal, and I think Evie would be very concerned about that. Uh -huh. Okay, he's he's disappeared off of her thing, but I have video ev evidence that she found out. <laughs> I don't know why my Sims forget other Sims so easily, but because I did have it on all, right? That's all, yeah, like all of them, all of them. You can see all. Of them. So yeah, I'm not really sure why that was. Or what? <laughs> oh, romantic doom. <laughs> uh, what is in the floor? But okay. Um. So yeah, I wanted to see if maybe things could be patched up or if not. Mm -hmm. But also, I gave Kevin Kevin a uh, makeover, which I don't know if his makeover video, because I did actually record it, him and his roommates getting a makeover, if I'm going to get that up before this video, or if this video is going to go first. But either way, he does have a makeover. But I think tomorrow, we'll invite him over and sort of try to figure out some things. Let's see. She does. She is supposed to work tomorrow, though. So let's just get her to bed and make it go very quick and hope that she wakes up pretty early. And invite him over before she goes to work and see what happens. Alright, so both of them are actually awake. Evie woke up first and Flareon just woke up. But I think you have to wait until I mean... 7 to actually invite someone over. So, we are up early enough to actually get that going. Um, they do actually have some fame, so I might make sure they keep track of that. I'm not caring if they get all the way up, I just don't want it to go, like, too low. And... I, I imagine that Flareon oh. at this point would probably be getting close to, um, ah, becoming, what am I looking for? Oh. I don't know what I just clicked on. How about, to, how about do this on your phone? But yeah, um, I would imagine that they would at least try to keep up with those and Flareons would be like a famous chef or whatever. Evie apparently is very is flirty. Very flirty. And now she's inspired. Except she's gotta pee. <laughs> Other than that, we're good. So let's go ahead and get Kevin over here. Come on. Right to hang out. Get Kevin over. And... Hello, person. Oh, that's Haunter. Hey, that's one of Kevin's roommates that I gave him a makeover, so... That, that's interesting. He's walking by now. Who is this? Oh, that's Lily. Hi, Lily! <laughs> Hi, 
Um, Kevin, are you coming? Kevin? Oh, she's still doing all that stuff. I have fly around. Invite Ke Kevin over. And change your outfit, please. Let's see. I did give her, I gave Evie and Flareon both new outfits. Like, I changed one of their outfits around. So let, let's get her to wear her new one. So he's supposed to be coming over. Also, yeah, she does have um, a quirk popped up while I was playing off. And she has the phone fanatic quirk. So, yeah. She likes to be on her phone. Apparently. I don't I don't picture her necessarily to be the one that would really like to be on her phone a whole lot. Hey Kevin! How you doing? Invited. So let's see how things are going on in between these two. Oh. Work for Evie starts in about one hour. Got it. <laughs> okay. Oh What? Oh Snarka. What? 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 I don't see anything smelly. What? 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 He's complaining about something, but I just have no idea what. Quality impeccable. Oh, I think her food never spoils anymore, right? Right? Because it doesn't have the spoil thing on it, and it says impeccable. Like, does that mean her... Where do I find this? <laughs> Traits. There we go. Stoves and grills masters have a chance to create impeccable quality consumables that use... So, consumables that uses stoves and grills. Okay. Food aspiration. Fresh chef. Fresh chefs always make the highest quality food and it never spoils. Yes. Her food never spoils. <laughs> That's so great. I can put it away and it will stay there forever. <laughs> oh, hi, Kevin. I need to be talking to you. <laughs> so, let's trying to figure out his career I don't I don't know how she asked about career like maybe she'd be like you know Evie says that you know this is what you do is that really true I don't know how she would I don't think she would be very excited about that oh goodness gracious I have some CC that shows up when they go to saunas and stuff like that and I need to like fix it but yeah uh, Evie, you can go alone, even though I really need to get you promoted at some point. You need to deliver a baby at some point. Uh, you need to be going to work. Evie. Evie! Evie, go to work! Go to work! Go to work. Thank you. <laughs> there she goes! Why is there another train? Anyway. Flareon has learned that Kevin is a... F <coughs> Felonous monk at Mob Wives. So yeah, he's a criminal. Um. Oh, oh, that look. <laughs> Miss Stevie Fudo, like, she's like doing this. Uh, if I was Kevin right now, I'd be like, uh, oh, you're good. Yeah, yeah, you're good. You're, good. you're not gonna like claw my eyes out or anything, right? But he seems pretty chill and relaxed. So. Oh. What? What is she doing? He doesn't look happy either. Like, I can't tell if this is a good conversation or a bad conversation. Because he looks mad. She looks mad. But it just says they're chatting. So I'm not really sure what's going on. Oh, now she's gonna... Oh, <laughs> oh I need to. And then she's on her phone again. I don't know if having your phone inside the sauna is a really, really good idea. A really, really what? Huh. So he he left the uh, sauna. Um, she I think she tried to do something mischievous because it was the little, little horn not the horn thingies the the little the little, little <sighs> hat thingy, Jester's hat. I don't know what I, I was I was. She got a bad reputation for it. That's why I was thinking the horn thing, but it was that jester hat thingy that was on the thingy over here, and he walked away from us. Which is weird, because I really thought he was mischievous, but I didn't tell her to do that anyway. Oh, no, he's a goofball. Technically, he can't be mischievous, but he's a goofball. We don't know his other trait. What? Where'd he go? We need to talk to you more. Sir, 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 sir. Where are you at? There you are. I think we really need to get to know, like, your other trait. Which, that made their friendship bar go down more. I don't know. 
did that make their romance bar go down further? I don't think it did. I think their romance bar is the same. But it made their friendship bar because she tried to do something mischievous. I have no idea what she did. Uh, but I'm very thirsty. I keep wanting my drink, but I don't know what that was. <laughs> I'm a little weird. So let me get her. Come go up there in your weird shoes. <laughs> I thought it would be really uncomfortable wearing those type of shoes in a sauna. I'm just saying. Oh, oh he's embarrassed. Was well, that because of whatever she did? What did she Lord do? Rinka. Oh, yes, yes. What, what is stinky in here? What, what is, there is something stinky in this kitchen, and I have no idea what it is. But there's something, apparently. But I don't see anything. Like, like, seriously, like, like, what? If any of y'all see something stinky, and I am overlooking it, proceed to tell me how dumb I am. What'd you do? You just did something. You're on your phone. But she just did something. Oh, she's embarrassed again. Oh, is that from what happened earlier? I don't know. Where'd Kevin go? He was right there! Where'd he go? I really don't know. If <laughs> Things are working out between- I don't know where they're- where'd he go? And where's the stinky thing? And wait, is she supposed to be at work right now? Hold on. Go to work. That is first and foremost. But did he leave? Did he really just leave? Did I just see it? Oh, no. I seen blue hair, but I think that's someone that works for Flareon at the uh... restaurant. Okay, so she's off to work. I'm gonna be speeding up time because there's obviously no one in this house. Kevin just left. Kevin has a really bad habit of leaving and never telling Flareon. And not to mention the very first time that she tried to introduce him to her family. He didn't show up. <laughs> oh, there's Ellie. Um, so, you know, that's a thing. But we'll just, we'll just see. Ah! Okay, so the ending, of the part I just got out was probably like a loud noise just happening. I knocked my um, computer modem over, um, my internet, I mean, uh, whoops. I've recently had to redo things down here because where I had computer issues and I had to fix things and stuff. I haven't put stuff back to where I want them to and I hit the cord that's connected to the one computer and it made it go. But Flareon's already back. Flareon has a shorter work day than Evie. I feel bad for Evie for having such a long day. Like, could you imagine going to work and your sister is still there, or sibling, and you come back to work and your sibling is still there relaxing and stuff like that, but they technically went to work. Just like you. But because they had, they just... They're lucky and they get a short day. But she got paid 2000 so for her short day. I don't know how much Evie gets paid for it. So we'll see. We'll see when Evie gets back. We'll see if it's worth her longer day to... Uh, <laughs> compared to Flareon's or not. Which I think Flareon's technically level 10 in her job. So... Yeah, she's, she's high up. She is high up there, so... And now I see stinky stuff. But that stuff wasn't there before. But also, like I said, Kevin left. Maybe... Because I... Oh, Evie doesn't make as much as Flareon, and she works longer. Dang. And she's a level 8. I hope when you get to a level 10 that you're making more than Flareon. Because you should be when you're in that field. But anyway. Of course, sometimes that doesn't matter. Oh, Jolteon wants to go out. He wants, it says he wants to go to the spa, but here's the thing. My game's been glitched, and I've seen a few other people that... Um, have some similar Elgin? mods as me uh, have the same problem it says they're going to one place but they totally go to a totally different place unless i personally pick it but like those things they go to the wrong place but i think what i'm gonna do i think we're gonna take go somewhere and go um where can i travel travel and I think we'll ask Kevin to go somewhere with us. And, like, just go out and hang out with him out somewhere. Kevin, we'll see you there. Okay. Good thing he didn't reject us, at least not yet. <laughs> like, I'm not I'm not really sure how this thing is going to work out. Owie! <laughs> this uh, relationship's going to actually work out 
between them two. I think, since he came to our house last time, I think we'll go closer to his house. He lives right here. So I think we'll go in Oasis Springs. I think we'll go to the bar. Why don't we just go to the bar? We'll do that. <laughs> don't know if that's a good idea, though. All right, we're here at the at the uh, bar in Oasis Springs. We have Kevin here with us. So let's go and, um, I guess because no one's standing there, you know, I need to click on this one. Order drinks. Order drinks for a group. Let's order, I don't know, not a plasma, Jane. Mint fresh, minty fresh pet confection. I don't know about that. We'll order a CFI. Let's order a CFI. Let's see. What what was that negative? What? Did you have a negative thing with him already and y'all didn't even, y'all just like came together? And it just, I don't know what just happened. What is this? Oh, we got a celebrity here. Acer is here. Acer is one of my sims that I've made and I've thought about maybe playing. Um, for a towny life series, but I, I'm not sure. Because he has a wife and a daughter, I want to say. But yeah, we're here at, I, this is one of the places that I actually made because where I'm starting to slowly renovate my whole entire main save. Slowly. <laughs> this is one of the places I made. And we have Foxy here as well. Because at one point I made a bunch of the Five Nights at Freddy's cast just for funsies. And I forgot that I made them in the save. <laughs> and that's Foxy. So, um, Yanabi, Yanabi, are you an alien, sir? <laughs> also, Foxy looks like he's getting he is an adult, which some of my adults appear to be. Ad this guy is a huge fan of Acer, man. He's already like freaked out like ten times. Not really, but close to it. Close enough. <laughs> when are you asking this guy to move in with you? <laughs> Oh, now, now, now he's freaking out. Oh, hey, dude. Hey, Drake. How you doing? Oh, I, and the only thing about when celebrities come around, all your sims, like, get so distracted by the celebrity, and I'm like, So, they're chatting. They seem to be getting along. They're talking about grilled cheese. I would be perfectly fine about talking about grilled cheese. Um, what do you have to, oh. Hey! 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 Why did you do that? Is Blair on okay with it? She didn't seem to react. Are you okay? <laughs> Blair on? She's like, I got my drink, I'm fine. Whatever. Now we're talking to this dude. Hello, dude. Everyone's freaking out about the celebrity, so. so. None of those sims except for Acer is mine. Like, I need to do a like, cleanup of some sims. Well, and Foxy. <laughs> but. So yeah, their friendship. I think I think she didn't like that because it went down somewhere. I don't know if this is a good thing, guys. I don't think things are working out. And I also don't know how. I don't know if she would be okay with the whole fact that he's a like, laugh. Like I don't. I really don't think she would. Could she look past that? I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, she's flirting with him, though. Espion! Hey! Oh, they're whispering about Ace. I didn't think about who this guy is. Most of these sims are not my sims! What the heck? Everyone. Oh, hey, she's freaking out over us! Hey! That's a thing! Hey, look at that! Look, look, she fainted because of us! Where did, where did Kevin go? <laughs> Come on! Kevin? <laughs> Kevin? Oh, more people are freaking out over us! Look at us. Look at us. We're cool like that. We're, we're awesome and cool like that. See, see look, look, look. Okay, actually, that's a little weird that all, all these guys are just staring at us. Oh, okay. Um, awkward. Hey, there's Kevin! <laughs> I found the Kevin. <laughs> Espeon! What you doing? Oh, she looks sad. I feel like part of Espeon's problems is something that I'm gonna tell- Whoa, your eyes are like super like bright. <laughs> what? 
What is going on here? What is... What is... What is... <laughs> Sir, what are you doing? <laughs> that is... That, that is a fashion trend right there. And Kevin, where are you going? You have to pee? <laughs> and where are you going? I don't know where you're going. But he's gone off somewhere. Why is she mad? Wild up. How does he... When they have bad conversations. Who have we had a bad conversation with? Anyway, let's go chit chat with Kevin here. Da, 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 da. Get him to. More choices! <laughs> let's go talk to him. I, I was gonna have her talk to Espeon, but like, this is not, not the point of why we're here. Go talk to. Yubsy! We need to go talk to, uh,. Kevin here. Who uh, was talking to this lady, maybe? Mizuki? Why, why, why is he talking to Mizuki? Anyway. A wild Sparion has appeared! And I don't know if he seems very happy. <laughs> Probably not very happy. <laughs> Let's face it, it's it's Sparion. Flareon, be careful. <laughs> There's a wild Sparion. <laughs> Anyway, let's, um, what, what, wait, did they just hug? Did they just hug? Or was that a regular hug? Oh. Wait, 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 was that not a, was that a, like, wait. Wait, was he flirting with this girl? Hold up! <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> We're gonna have to figure out who you are, lady. <laughs> oh, like, I did see them hug, but was that an embrace hug or a regular hug? I just, it was down here, and I had this thing. Maybe I should get rid of this thing. What, what's going on? There was a fairy on. Also, as I've already mentioned. Who is this lady? Oh, she looks so sad. Like, that's awkward. Um. I, I want, go here together. Okay, and then you stop walking. I want Kevin to get away from her so that we can talk to her with a, there's a ghost. Um, more choice. Where's the, where's the ask about other sims? Ask about another sim. Don't tell me this is happening to her again. Oh, Flareon. Oh. Oh, Vlad's here. <laughs> I hope that maybe it was just... Well, no, she's got the drifting love thing. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> no! Oh. <laughs> no, Kev Kevin's coming back into our conversation. He wants to talk to that girl. And he's doing that in, like, in front of her. Okay, we're gonna go. Espeon! <laughs> it's lucky that Espeon's here. No, no, don't. Don't me by yen. Guys, look at her. She looks so sad. You are evil. Wait, does that? Uh, and that he's not really evil, but rude, mean, horrible person. Hey, what was it, Clara? Friends with him. At this point. Or was it his brother? I don't remember. Is that Umbreon? Brother and sister. Ask for advice. <laughs> Umbreon's apparently dense, but that's because he's surrounded by a bunch of people. Listen to fan. Okay, we're, we're s very on a good idea. Listen, I just really need to talk to my siblings. I, I'm apparently also really smelly right now. Okay, she's just she's gonna continue. Okay. Brother! <laughs> 
there she goes. <laughs> As for advice. <laughs> He's so tense. She's like, oh, this is just this has happened to me again. What do I do? <laughs> Larry on. Give give him another hug. And then give Espion a hug. If I can find it. Who are you? I think you're a kid of one of my sims that I used to control, but I no longer control, but <laughs> interesting. And then we're gonna also give Espion a hug because we need hugs right now. We need hugs right now, guys. Hugs. <laughs> and I'm glad that they still give me a hug, even though I stink. <laughs> He's like, okay, play around. You probably really need to. Is Kevin still here? Or did he leave? He left. He just left. He left her again. He didn't even say anything to her. He just left again. There's bathrooms down here. He, he's gone. He's, he's literally gone. Okay, we're gonna go home. I just- I was gonna take her to the city also, I remembered, but you know, um, Evie and Dreon just decided to have other friends. She's talking to both of her siblings. You know, I think, you know, I think maybe Flareon just- oh, she just walked through a wall. <laughs> She's had it hard with her past two relationships. And I thought there was a third guy that she was starting to talk to at one point, but you know, my sims tend to forget people, so maybe there was a third guy and she's just totally forgotten who it was, but I think maybe it's time for like a change of scenery. Maybe do something new. Maybe be able to meet new people and stuff. Like, I think, I think maybe she... Talking with Espion and Umbreon and like sort of thinking about things. Maybe she'd want to try to change a little bit of her life. And I think maybe maybe she'll talk to Evie and be like, you know, I think I'm going to try to focus on myself a little bit. I think I'm going to go and move out and try to get a little sense of myself, focus on the restaurant, and maybe go from there. I don't know where I'll have her move to, though. But I think, I think that... I think maybe that's something maybe she should do. Because, like, she's soon going to be aging up. Very soon. And I think I've stated it before. I think, like, you know, a lot of the... Especially Jolteon, Vaporeon, and Flareon. They're about to age up. Like, you know... They're still young! But... Life is catching up quick. So I think it's one of those things that she'd be like, you know... Maybe I should try doing this on my own. Maybe if I have, like, my own place or something. I can figure things out on my own and figure stuff out. And I just, I don't, I don't know. Like, I feel like, look at how sad she is. I don't think she got this sad about Seth last time. But, you know, her and Seth never officially became girlfriend or boyfriend. Versus her and Kevin did. Tsunoba Danka. <laughs> Nabor, Nabor so Padanka, Piguna, Unsta. Oh, Pimpi. And I think I think Evie would be like, you know, I think Evie's sad about all of them moving out. Like I'm pretty sure if Evie had her way, all of them would move back in. With her. <laughs> <laughs> but I think she would understand. But I also think that she would try to cheer up and do whatever you need to to get back on your feet. And I will always support you. It's just gonna be very lonely in this house without you. And uh, Evie can might very, very try, like, Evie might happy. try hard to get Estelle to be like, can you move, like, permanently move in? Are you okay with that? <laughs> because otherwise, I'm by myself. <laughs> but, you know, and maybe this will be a good thing for Evie as well, because I th Evie might be finally starting to have some sort of love life on her own. So maybe, maybe this will be good for both of them, but I think Flareon's going to move out. So... Next time we're here, uh, of course, I may go with, um, go over to Flareon's place first, but, you know, Flareon won't be in this household anymore. It's just gonna be Evie. Ah! It's getting so smart. But, 
anyway, I'm going to end this one here. I did wish that I got to spend a little bit more time with Flareon, especially now that she's had this whole situation. They're still technically dating, but he left before she can really calm down and talk to him. But whoever this Mizuki girl is, I guess he went and embraced her. How far up in the romance romantic things do you have to be to be able to do that? I'm not really sure, so I don't know how much of a love interest she is to him. And I don't know if he's got more than just her. Who really knows? Um, <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to end this one here. Let me know what you think about the whole situation. Uh, word. I think, I think for now I'm just going to have Flareon move into the city, like an apartment, like, you know, sort of like starting literally from scratch sort of type setting. And we'll go from there. Let me know how you think if that's something that maybe she should stay in the city. I don't currently have any of the Eevee family living in the city as well. So that's also give a little bit different point of view as well. So, but anyway, also let me know how you still are feeling about Eevee and Adrian here. I don't think I've gotten any episodes posted where that started showing up yet as the time of recording this. I record in advance quite often and sometimes that could be annoying because I can't like um, get you all's feedback but because of my schedule sometimes that's just how it works out better for me and right now I'm still getting back into the swing of things but anyway definitely check out the description down below for in all of my Sims 4 playlists as well as my social medias so you can go and follow me on that stuff as well, I think we'll be with Espeon, if I remember my order correctly. I believe we will be with Espeon in the next episode of the Eevee family. So be prepared for some Espeon and Riker time, because Riker is currently living with her. <laughs> and I'll see you in the oh, next one. Bye-bye! <laughs>